I'm getting way too hyped up about this. You don't have to buy the nicest, most expensive, fanciest house on the block to enjoy the home that you live in. Life-changing. It was so impactful. We are so late to the game on this. These are a few of my favorite things. Well, hey everyone, it's Natalie. So glad you stopped by my channel for today's video. We're talking about my favorite things, what I've been enjoying for this season. You know, fall is my favorite season. I'm talking about favorite things during my favorite season. I'm a happy camper right now. So we're gonna get into this. You probably want to grab something to drink or eat, settle in. Usually my favorites videos are pretty long. I just get really excited about this stuff that I'm sharing with you guys. And I got some really good stuff this time. So let's get into this. Okay, so this is something that I actually discovered last fall, but I don't think I actually did a fall favorites video last year, um, but I brought it out again for this fall season and I have gotten so many questions. I sound like such an influencer when I say that, but seriously, I have gotten so many questions about what lip color I've been wearing recently, like in the last month or so. This is the ColourPop Just a Tint uh, lip shade in the shade Cherry Pickin', which I love this formula, first of all, so much. And the other shade that I wear, the one that I actually tried first is called uh, give me some more and it's more of a nude. This definitely has a bit more pigment. It has kind of this brown coppery undertone that I think is perfect for the fall time. I these days am not really like a bold lip person. I kind of do variations of neutral nude, that sort of thing. Um, so this is about as bold as I get, but it's an easy way to go a bit bolder without going like all the way. And I really like the formula. It glides on really, really well. It's nourishing, but it's not like super shiny and goopy and glossy. So for me, this is perfect and it's super foolproof. And that's what I appreciate as a busy mom. Like I can just swipe this on without even looking and it always looks really good. And a lot of you probably saw this coming, but I don't just use this as a lip shade. You probably are sick of hearing me talk about how I use lip shades as like cheek color and vice versa, like a cream cheek product, uh, like a cream blush as lipstick. I do that and it's just a way for me to cut down on the number of items that I have in my makeup collection. I'm, you know, rattling around in my makeup bag. I use this as my lip color, but then I also started popping it onto my cheeks and just blending it out with my finger. And then you know it, in typical Natalie fashion, I also wear it in my crease for kind of like an eyeshadow. Um, I also rub a little bit of it on my lower lash line just to make a really cohesive look. I'll just grab one of my eyeshadow brushes and kind of put it on there on the tip of the um, lipstick and just kind of rub it into the crease. And man, it makes it so easy to put a look together. Like I said, it's all nice and cohesive. So it all kind of ties in together. Love this so much. It's super affordable. I got this at Ulta. I don't think they carry it at Ulta anymore, but it is on the ColourPop website. So I'll link this and everything that I'm talking about in the description box if you guys wanna check it out. But I highly recommend this. The other nice thing, is that it has a nice, very light kind of fruity vanilla scent, which is nice. Something that's a very similar shade and another thing that I've gotten so many questions on is this nail color that I've been wearing lately. I don't have it on right now. I did not have time before filming this video to pop these on, mom life. But I have been wearing this. Um, this is the Olive and June uh, nail polish in the shade JJ. I believe that their shades are named after women, maybe it's cancer fighters, cancer survivors, something like that. Um, but this is the shade JJ and it's actually part of their pumpkin spice collection that they have on their website. Like they'll put little bundles together of shades that look good together. Like if you like to do a different color per nail and it's kind of that mauve toned brownish maroon color. It's not like full on dark maroon. It's not full on brown. It has a little bit of coolness to it, kind of like the color of my shirt. I've kind of been digging this color lately, as you can tell. Um, and so this one, really, really good. Okay, if you know me, you know I'm a perfume girl. In other areas of my life, I do try to cut out artificial scents, but I'm not giving up my perfumes. And I might be weird, 
But I love watching videos of people going through their perfume collection and making like descriptions of their favorite perfumes. I feel like I make really good discoveries of perfumes. And this is one of those discoveries. This is the Tokyo Milk Dark Tainted Love. It's their number 62 perfume. The maker is Margot Elena, and I actually purchased this off their website um, because it's actually kind of hard to buy anywhere else. Uh, Macy's, Nordstrom, even Scentbird, like they don't have this. You kind of have to go straight to the source. So the fragrance notes are dark vanilla bean, orchid, white tea, and sandalwood, um, but I feel like it's a bit more complex than that. The description says, not for the faint of heart, a fragrance sparked by the complexities of love with warm notes of dark vanilla bean, sensuous sandalwood, provocative spices, and an unexpected kiss of sweet orchid. And it's like those spices that really comes out for me, something about my body chemistry or just like the way I smell this. Um, there's definitely like that spicy element to it, kind of woodsy. I love this so much. So I got this during the fall time last year and I brought it back out for fall this year and oh my gosh, it smells so good. But then I also pair it with this perfume, which Weston got this for me after I got a little sample of it in a Sephora order. And I was like, this is the most interesting, unique perfume that I have ever smelled. This is the Replica brand by Mason Marigella. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. And this is their scent called By the Fireplace. The fragrance description is burning wood and chestnut. Um, and it's actually a male or female fragrance. So Weston and I actually both wear this um, paired with whatever scent we're wearing for the day. So I actually don't really wear this all by itself alone. This is kind of like that added woodsy, smoky smell. And some people may not like this. I don't think it's everyone's cup of tea like for themselves. I don't think it's offensive to smell it on someone else, but it literally smells like burning wood. It smells like smoke, like a fall time when you start burning wood in the wood stove again sort of thing. That's what I grew up with. And it just evokes that feeling of like warm coziness or like the late summer bonfire sort of thing. If, if that's what you do, it is so good. And it pairs so well with other like warm scents. And these two as a duo, oh my gosh. Okay, stuff for the home. I'm gonna start with this bad boy right here. <laughs> this is a weighted blanket. This is from the brand Nuzzy. Um, they are Nuzzy Co. on Instagram. Um, so first of all, just have to say, not sponsored. However, this brand did send me a blanket of theirs. It was the queen size of their um, knitted, like hand knitted weighted blanket. It was the same color and everything and I shared it on my Instagram. After a while, I realized it was just a behemoth. Like the queen size 20 pound weighted hand knit blanket. It was so huge and chunky. And we don't live in like a very large house. So whatever room it was in, it just like totally took over the space. And while it was so cozy and wonderful, I realized that it was just too big. It was just too big for our house, but I really, really loved it. So thanks so much to Nuzzy for sending me that first one and introducing me to their brand and their products. I ended up um, being able to donate that one to a women's shelter and, and pass that on to someone who could use it and need it more and then I for myself with my own money purchased the small size and I think this is it's not the twin size I actually think this is the kid size of their hand knit weighted blanket and it's made with this jersey material it's so cuddly and soft without being like fuzzy and furry a lot of the time nice cozy blankets kind of just make me sweaty and on a really cold day that's not so bad but in the fall time like half of the fall is spent kind of in a halfway warm halfway cool sort of day but i still want to be cozy you know um, and this is perfect for that it's super breathable you can literally like stick your hand <laughs> through and um, but it the knit uh weave just bounces right back it's stretchy very very cozy highly recommend if you're going for like a hand knitted weighted blanket. I know those are really popular right now, but some brands, man, they are so expensive. Um, and I feel like this one is definitely more affordable for what you get. This 
product. This is my favorite cleaning product right now. I love it so much. This is the Dawn Platinum Power Wash. I get it in the free and clear, which means it doesn't have any dyes in it. And oh my goodness, if you guys saw all the mommy vloggers get sponsored back in like the spring cleaning time, um, like March, April, um, and you wondered if it was worth the hype because I'm a skeptic too. I'm a content creator for a living and I am so grateful for the sponsorships that I get, but seriously, I'm a skeptic when I see people get sponsored. It's just a natural thing to do. I think it's a really healthy thing to do. And so it took me a while to jump on the bandwagon. There's a few influencers that I absolutely wholeheartedly trust, but it takes me a little while to jump on the bandwagon. But you guys, this is worth the hype. You literally just spray this on to anything that's like baked or caked onto pans, pots, cooking utensils, anything cheesy or crusty or like tomato sauce. And within like 45 seconds after you spray this stuff on, it's like it just dissolves it and you just wipe it away. You know how you see commercials or infomercials where things you just know it's exaggerated when you watch like, oh, watch this, clean this away. It's just spray and wipe. It's true. It's it's not like the fake Big Mac. It's like the actual real deal. It works so well. I'm getting way too hyped up about this. This bottle is kind of hefty and chunky. This one was more streamlined from Amazon. I think it was under 10 bucks. So I grabbed this one also with the intention of diluting the power wash solution because I had a feeling that you didn't have to use this at full strength in order to get it to work. Um, and this can be kind of spendy. I did one quarter Dawn power wash solution, three quarters purified water. And you guys, it still works as if it's at full strength. So save yourself some money, get yourself a bottle or just keep refilling this. They come in these little refill bottles, you know, dilute it and prepare to be amazed. I know talking about cleaning products is not the most glamorous thing, but I keep it real <laughs> on my channel. Sometimes when you're watching like a fall favorites video, you expect it to be all like, you know, cozy scarves and candles and Ugg boots. I'm gonna get to the candles, don't worry. But I had to talk about this. This product is a miracle in a bottle. It is so good. And it doesn't just work for like dishes. I've cleaned my carpet with it. I've cleaned um, like my doors, fingerprints off my doors. I've cleaned my walls. I've cleaned my glass with it. I've cleaned my bathrooms with it. It's an amazing product try it today. I told you we'd get to candles, so that's what we're talking about next. These are from Trader Joe's. They're their um, soy wax scented candles. I have the vanilla pumpkin scent, which smells heavenly, but it's a nice lighter scent. So for those of you who don't like really heavily scented candles, but you, you still want to have a nice little fall smelling candle in your house, this is a really, really good choice. It's nice and light. Um, but if you want something that packs a bit more of a punch from the same line, they come in these nice little tins too, which will be nice because they're reusable and we can like pour another candle into them. This is the honey crisp apple scent and this one, it's definitely a strong candle. You don't even need to burn it to have it fill your house with smell. So if you get this one, be prepared to be smacked in the face with the smell of what a Washington apple orchard is like. If you've ever wondered what it's like to walk through one of our orchards and you hear Washingtonians talk about it all the time, grab this candle from Trader Joe's. It's so, so good. Typically your best bet for having a, you know, a lower toxin candle is a 100% a beeswax candle with a cotton wick. That's actually what my kids and I like to, as a craft, um, we make these. Um, it's, it's really fun and we just burn them throughout the year. Um, so that's what I've got going on behind me. Those are any of the candles that I burn like in my office bedroom or like in the rest of the house. But when it comes to a scented candle, I feel like I hit the jackpot at Trader Joe's. These are so yummy. It's kind of hard to differentiate between home and lifestyle stuff. Um, I, I call this the lifestyle category, just kind of random stuff that I've been enjoying, um, either like intentional living items. I have a couple books to talk about, but first of all, let's get this one out of the way. This Chobani coffee creamer, this is the pumpkin spice flavor amazing. I talked about this in my last video, so I won't stay too long here. Um, it's so good. It is the best pumpkin spice flavored anything. 
literally anything I've ever had. And I've tried pumpkin splice pumpkin spice flavored everything. I've been doing like this super easy coffee um, in the afternoon. I'll just pour some like cold brew from a jug that I buy at the store and some of this on the top. Sometimes I'll whip it up and make like a, a foam for the top and it smells so good. Simple recipe made from fresh cream, milk, cane sugar, no added oils, good for great mornings, no artificial flavors. Love it. Something that my husband and I have been enjoying so much and I realize we are so late to the game on this. It's the show Fixer Upper. I mean, like, where have I been? This is like the best show. Weston and I are thoroughly entertained by every episode, even the old ones, like back when they're doing like home renovations and home decor and like doing it more from like a real estate perspective. It's so fun to watch. It's like house hunters, but like, in the real world. It's not like these crazy million dollar homes. It's like the fixer uppers. I mean, where have I been? Like this show is the best and it's so relatable. Weston and I, when we've purchased our homes, um, we've always gone lower in the budget and it's always location is everything. And when we're looking at prospective houses, it's always with the idea that we kind of want to have the worst house on the street and fix it up as we go, which we've done with both of the houses that we've lived in. Um, and so we really relate. Obviously, we haven't gotten everything done in, you know, a two week period like they do on the show. We don't have a budget or timing or the skills for that, but we really appreciate the before and afters and how they show how to do things kind of more budget friendly. I love this theme that you just don't have to keep up with the Joneses in order to have a nice looking place. You don't have to buy the nice nicest, most expensive, fanciest house on the block to enjoy the home that you live in with a little love and care and TLC and some renovations. Um, it can really be a beautiful place. And it's just been so inspiring to watch. It's so fun, so entertaining, and we love seeing their relationship. It's really sweet on, you know, mainstream TV to see a loving, really respectful and, and a relationship where the couple has a lot of fun with each other. Their dynamic really reminds us a lot of our dynamic because Weston is so much like Chip. Um, he's like the jokester and he's constantly trying to embarrass me and make me laugh. Um, and I feel like I relate a lot to Joanna in, in the relationship. So highly recommend that show. If you haven't checked it out, it's, it's a lot of fun. Up next are a couple of books that, oh my goodness, they have just been speaking to my heart um, and the Lord has really used to uh, minister to me and help me learn so much. Um, they are two books in particular by a lady named Jenny Allen. I had never heard of her before. I was just kind of searching on Audible. I had a couple of credits. I love using the Audible app and that's pretty much the only time I read is if I'm listening to it just because of my life. And I was kind of searching around for a book about just letting go and um, not worrying. Um, we've been through a crazy period in our life in the in the summertime, um, and I will be sharing more about this with you guys at a later date. Um, but there was a lot going on with my grandma and her illness. She was on hospice for a while. Um, you know, worries were stacking up in my heart, a lot of anxiety. We were going through some other stuff privately that was just really, taxing on my heart to navigate and i was i was looking for a book that would help me stop those spiraling thoughts um, and i wanted something that was faith-based i wanted i wanted to hear from someone of my faith um, and and the counsel that they gave and if you guys don't know it i'm a christian i'm never shy about that um, and i'm so so grateful for this book that i found it's called get out of your head it's by jenny allen like i said um, and i listened to the audible version so it's her reading her her own words, her own book, and it was life-changing. It was so impactful. The tools that she gives that are based in scripture, that's very important to me. Um, it, it helped me realize so much how God has it under control and I have a choice. That's like the theme throughout this book is I have a choice. I can choose to be a worry wart or I can choose to let God take care of it and to trust in him. Um, and she shares about her own life and uh, difficult situations that she's been through and how she came about learning this, just this way of like stopping your brain from spiraling and letting truth get in there before 
you just get lost in your own brain. I am a ruminator, I am a worrier, I am a chronic overthinker. And so being able to hear these truths and to begin to apply them to my life, it was so, so impactful. I'm right now I'm in another book of hers, which is, oh my gosh, it's so good. If I'm a chronic overthinker, I am also a chronic people pleaser. And so the book that she has, it's called Nothing to Prove. I'm halfway through it. And man, it's just as good. Um, it's, it's just talking about how we don't have to keep up with the Joneses. We don't have to prove to anyone that we're worthy, that we're successful, that we um, have a good relationship with God. Like we don't have to prove anything to anyone because our identity needs to be in Christ alone. Um, and it's been very convicting. I think as a person who lives a part of their life, certainly not all of my life, not even a majority of my life on social media, but any anyone who shares anything of their life to the public or has you know a good amount of people following them, that fishbowl feeling and that desire to like prove myself or to impress, even when I am just keeping it real, um, it can it can be pretty exhausting. And I have learned things over the years about not letting that take over my mind. Um, and I've I've made some changes in my work and in my content in order to really preserve that for myself. But it still happens. Um, and so this book that I'm reading right now by her, the a nothing to prove book. So good. And I'm really excited. I see that she has a few more titles on Audible. I'm really excited to read or listen through her other books um, because so far she's right on the money. Let's talk about some stuff that I've been loving for my kids. This is our last category today. Like I said, these videos get a little bit long, but uh, there's some stuff that, man, my kids and I have just been loving. First of all, the show Bluey. Bluey takes place in Australia, I believe. Um, I thought at first when I was hearing their accents that it was British and then after a while I was like, no, that is definitely Australian. Um, it's a mom and a dad and two kids and it just shows little vignettes from their life as a family. Um, some of it is from the kid's perspective. Most of it is from the kid's perspective. They're all dogs, by the way. Did I mention that? But they're very humanized. They, they talk and they, they live in a house and they have human lives, basically. Um, you know, it's a cartoon. <laughs> but I'm telling you the number of times that I have cried watching Bluey episodes. I think there's over a hundred episodes. There's two seasons. There's 50 some episodes each season. They're about five to seven or eight minutes long for each episode. They are so darling without being like overly cutesy. Um, the thing that I really appreciate about Bluey, not just the fact that it entertains my kids, is that they really overtly teach emotional intelligence. And so when a kid in the show is having a bad day, the parents are always right there to, to verbally like work through whatever it is that they're feeling. Um, another thing I really appreciate it is that the parents in the show, the adults, are very humble. And when they mess up or if they do something wrong, they get down on their knees right eye level with their little puppy child and they apologize and they take ownership. And it's so refreshing. And I really love that the, the adults characters, they're not portrayed as like dumb or uncool like some shows especially nowadays do and the show just cracks us up it's so funny um there's really funny moments there's little things that they like throw in there um like one character will be doing something funny in the background but it literally has nothing to do with the rest of the show for such a simple cartoon and like how short the episodes are they're actually quite complex when it comes from like a creativity standpoint and I just really appreciate them. Like I have found myself just sitting watching Bluey with my kids. If you have the Disney Plus app, highly recommend Bluey. Oh, and it also has my daughter speaking in an Australian accent. She like totally does the whole like, no thing. It's so funny, she gets it. Okay, switching gears from entertainment, let's talk about bath time. So my friend, Caitlin Nyer, she and her husband started this company. It's called Lollico. 
and I was on their PR list. I felt very special. Um, she sent out their shampoo and body wash and their sh uh, conditioner. This is a line for kids, although I actually kind of want to try it for myself. It smells so, so good. Um, and man, it works so well. And I'm saying that specifically for my daughter because she obviously has longer hair than my boys do, but my boys do wash their hair and body with this as well. But my daughter has very tricky hair. She's like platinum blonde hair um, and it's very, very dry. So um, she has a lot of natural texture to her hair. She literally has like ringlet curls, but they don't come out all the time because it's very, very fine and it tangles like that. I don't know if it's the, the shampoo or the conditioner specifically that have really helped like tame my daughter's hair um but she gets out of the bath and we just let it air dry and oh my gosh it's just like soft the frizz is tamed down um her curls are like shiny which we haven't really seen for her hair up until using this duo of products. Caitlin's daughter, Scarlett, she's a few months older than Haley. They actually have similar hair, um, like texture. Um, Haley actually has a part of her hair that's like totally straight and the other part is curly and I've seen Caitlin share the same thing. So when she was developing this formula, I know she was doing it with her daughter in mind as well as other kids. And for my kids, my little my daughter, um, it works so, so well and love the smell. She always asks for a bath because she just loves her strawberry shampoo is what she calls it. And the cool thing is it's made with no parabens, no sulfates, it's cruelty free, no toxins, no tears. Yes, love, how cute is that? I love the packaging and how cute and minimalistic it is and Haley loves it too. I hope you enjoyed seeing the stuff that I've been loving this season, whether it was home stuff, makeup, kid stuff, Bluey, or just a jug of coffee creamer that I seriously could just drink straight. If you try nothing else from this video, try the creamer. Be sure you're subscribed with the bell button turned on. You'll want to make sure that it's turned on to all notifications so you don't miss when I post my videos. I think maybe the next video I'm posting or maybe the one after that, I have a life update for you guys where I'm going to be sharing more about what's been going on behind the scenes. I have a really exciting announcement. I cannot wait to be able to share this with you guys. Um, and I, I really don't want you to miss it. I think you're gonna be excited about it too. So be sure to subscribe, turn that bell button on, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. It means the world to me that you would spend a little part of your day here with me on my channel. So thank you so much for that. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll catch you later.